Hello, hello, hello. My name is Diamond. I'm going to be assessing your skin today and also doing any treatment that I see fit once we analyze your skin and see what it needs. Now, before I begin taking a look at you, I just have a couple of questions. This is just a form asking about your skincare, um, how much water you drink a day, things like that. Is it okay if I go ahead and ask you these questions? All right, thank you very much. Um, I will allow you to fill out the top part. That's going to be your name, address, phone number. Now let's move down here. Have you had any cosmetic surgery or non-surgical cosmetic procedures done in the past? Okay, and what did that entail? Okay, absolutely. Anything else? Now, I have a couple of choices here, so just let me go through, I'll ask you all of them, and then we can come back and see which ones fit you. So, on your hands or face, do you have either sunspots or freckles? Okay. Around your lips, do you have either fine lines or wrinkles? Maybe some fine lines, that's pretty common. Okay. On your face or neck, do you notice any fine lines or wrinkles that are bothering you? All right, absolutely. And how about around your eyes? Fine lines, wrinkles, or dark circles? Are any of those a concern of yours? Alright, normal concern. Um, face, chest, or back, do you have any acne scars, acne breakouts, blackheads, whiteheads, clogged pores, loss of skin elasticity, or excessive facial hair, or dry or chapped lips, do any of those pertain to you? Okay. Alright, perfect, got that. And is there anything else anywhere on your body, on your skin anywhere, that is problematic for you or anything that I missed? Got it covered, alright. And this question is, what is the end result that you're hoping for by the end of this procedure? Okay, so maybe just some clearer pores, get some extractions out of there. Okay, sounds good. So we'll do clear pores. You want some more smooth, flawless finish, huh? Absolutely. Okay, let's talk about some of your facial products. Do you currently use a cleanser? And is that once daily or twice? Okay. How about a moisturizer or toner? Both. Okay. And how about night cream? Do you use that? Maybe occasionally, okay. Okay, and now I'm gonna go through any health conditions which you may have now, may or may not have. Once I'm done reading through, just let me know if any of these apply to you. Pregnant, diabetes, thyroid issues, HIV, keloids, migraine, hepatitis, cancer, high or low blood pressure, eczema or psoriasis, herpes simplex virus, or active sores. Okay. Thank you. Alright, back up here. 
Do you have any allergies that cause a reaction on your skin that you know of? Okay, and what is the reaction that you get? Burning rash. That doesn't sound fun. I'm sorry. Let's talk about medications that you are currently taking. Do you have a list of any of them that you're on? Okay, just that. And let's go ahead and talk about any medications that you're on. Can you go ahead and just let me know any of those? That's it? Alright, and how long have you been on that? just to make sure that none of the products that we will be using will interfere with your face or skin treatment at all. So now what I would like to do is pop on a pair of gloves and I will be just assessing your face up close, getting a good look. I'm going to turn on the steamer. It's not going to blast you away or anything. It's going to just be a light gradual steam that you'll feel occasionally. This will just open up your pores as we go. This will look. You should be able to see the steam coming from that. Do you see it a little bit? A little bit, okay. Make sure that's hitting you in the right spot. Turn it up a bit more. There we go. Okay. It's going to gradually disperse some steam every once in a while. I'm going to get my tools here. These are some tools for extracting blackheads, digging out some ingrown hairs, you just never know. Let me get this moved over a bit. There we go. Alright, so let me take a look here at your skin. Okay, I see a very small amount of impurities here and there. What I'm going to do is get some pointy hook tweezers and these will be able to grab any of those pimples or blackheads. They are sharp, but I will not hurt you, I promise. I'm going to also get some cut squares out. Brand new bag just for you. And what these are going to do is just allow us to wipe off any of the blackheads and pimples that are on here. So what I'm going to do is also use a... I'll show you if I can get it out. It's going to be this little loophole thing here. And this is going to really allow us to push down. Those extractions will come out. Or I'm sorry impurities will come out and we'll pluck them out. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and press on this first one here. Little pressure, little pressure. Good. Watch this. Ooh. Yucky. Look at that. Blackheads. I hate those things. They're so annoying, right? But it's okay. We all get them. Can't be perfect all the time. And I'm gonna go in for this one right here. Push, 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 push. You okay? Alright. Good. 
Just a little tiny, tiny one. But still, we don't want it in there. Okay, going down here a bit towards your chin. Ooh, we got some goo in this one. Is that steam too much on you? Okay, I turned it up a little bit, so. Oh, look at that. You can just see a little bit of dirt coming out. Let me turn this down for you. Because I do feel like it is coming in a little hot there. Alright. And I'm gonna dig right here. Ooh. See that? It's all gooey and nasty. It doesn't even want to come off the tweezers. It's okay though, we'll get them all out and you'll be good as new. <laughs> I love when the cotton gets stuck. Okay. Here we go, right here on the bridge of your nose, kind of off to the side. You have a pretty big one, so I'm gonna go ahead and extract that now. Sorry, I know it's probably a bit painful. A little pressure, pressure, pressure. Good. Ooh, this is a huge one. Hold on. Ooh. Oh, jeez. This one is enormous. I'm glad we got that out, but looks like it's leaving kind of a little, um, I'd say like a little crater almost. It's not too bad, though. Don't worry. It's pretty... Not very noticeable. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this steamer off for now. Because I think your pores should be open plenty. I'm gonna go ahead in with a different tool. This is going to be some pointy tweezers. These are going to be good for those ones that are kind of sunken in a little bit. I try not to use my fingers to push and pull too much. I would rather grab just a little tip and pluck out that impurity. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm going to reach down here on your chin and pull this one right there. Ooh, see that? Told you they come out much easier with these. Ooh, look at that. They are coming out left and right. <laughs> Gonna get this one here. Oh, shoot. It's better to get them out than to have them in your face. I'm gonna grab over here towards your jawline a bit. Ooh. This one did not want to come out. Super, super sticky. Your bed. Oh. There's actually some hair follicles in these as well. So I think what's happening is your hair pores are getting blocked and then it's turning into blackheads. It's probably trapping all that dirt in there. Just kind of turning them into some dirty pores that we have to extract. So that's all. That's basically what's going on here. Ooh. Big ones. Alright, that should be good. Look how many we got out. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. So I'm gonna put those down. Put the tools away. Because now, I have something else for you. I think we got out all those blackheads. Looks good. You're good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is put on a nose strip. And this is gonna pull out any remaining blackheads or blocked pores. What it's gonna do is just stick right onto your nose. 
and it'll just get peeled off once it's a bit more dry has to set on there and it will get clogged with all the little impurities and then we'll peel it off so here we go I'm gonna detach it from the film like that and go ahead and just sit still for a moment I'm gonna stick this on right How does that feel? Comfortable? Yeah, okay. Let me just flatten it down to make sure it doesn't come off too soon, prematurely. <laughs> okay, throw that to the side. This is honeysuckle and grapefruit essence. Mmm, sounds nice. Just let that sit for a few minutes and while we do that I'm just going to write down a couple notes on what I think you should do to help keep those pores unclogged maybe some product recommendations and that way you won't have to come get extractions as often one of my tips is to possibly invest in a face brush do you have one? okay I think a face brush is a great idea because it gets down inside the little pores especially if you get one with the little silicone nubs on them those really work down inside the pores keep using a cleanser at least twice a day you can use one for acne, um, black hands, white hands, something a deep cleaning cleanser though. Make sure it says deep cleaning on it. Then I would also suggest that you do a deep cleansing toner as well. Clean and Clear makes a good one. pleasantly surprised to see how many blackheads came off this. Look at that. This was the strip that was on your nose. You see all those little tiny blackheads? Yay! I'm so glad those came off. Oh, your nose looks flawless. Good. Very good. Last but not least, let me 
just slap on this Newport Glow Up Brightening Cream and then, like I said, you could be free to go. <laughs> I'm just gonna take that and dot it around a couple spots here on your face. A little bit goes a long way here with this product, so we want to make sure that we don't smother the skin. The skin likes to breathe, you know? <laughs> okay. And we're just going to wipe all of that in really good. This is a brightening and glowing moisturizer. It will be perfect for your skin right now since we just got all those extractions out. It'll help to go ahead and put the moisture back into some of those pores. Okay. Alright, you are done. Your skin looks wonderful. Thank you for allowing me the pleasure of working on you today. Any issues you have with your skin, or if you need more extractions, come back and see me. Alright, thank you. Take care.